Hi guys, welcome back to another FSD video. I am on the version 13.2.7. So this is the latest update. I just got this yesterday. I just put some directions in and we'll see how this is gonna perform. So let me just hit the start button and the car is starting around. So if you ask me, I didn't have any complaints with the version 13.2.6. So this version apparently have some bug fixes. Nothing major, but uh, it is still the latest version. So I always try to check that out when these things are released, how they're performing. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, checking some other content out. I post stuff about FSD regularly and I provide you with my opinion on how different version of supervised FSD is performing. So for the people who are watching this for the first time, so this is a 2023 Model S Plaid with Hardware 4 and I am uh, running my FSD offset as, at plus 20%. Uh, this is on hurry mode right now and pretty much that's it. So during this route, I will obviously provide my commentary on how this thing is working and also really appreciate your feedback on my videos it gives me a new perspective all the time to test some new things out using the fsd so keep it coming guys okay so we are moving from this stoplight the car in front of us is gonna make a left but okay so we have to go straight and our car is already trying to find room Oh wow, look at this. Look at this guys. And even the car was coming from the front. So FSD, again, the version 13 stack is very much improved in terms of decision making. And it's not gonna just stop there and just wait for things to happen. It is gonna proactively make that call, especially if you are on the hurry mode itself. So hurry mode is the most aggressive kind of uh, FSD mode. And it'll try to, you know, uh, change lanes more frequently as compared to the other modes but uh, I don't know for me I have noticed that it's working best uh, using the hurry mode with uh, you know 20% offset settings both on the highway and on these kind of roads as well so with the FSD 13 stack you don't have to touch the yoke at all it's pretty much uh, you know end-to-end driving on its own from point a to point b and if you have been following this channel we are approaching the stop sign where all the versions of fsd have messed up so we're gonna go towards the end of this road and there will be a stop sign from that stop sign we are gonna make a first make a right and we should go into the middle lane because from middle lane then we have to uh, sorry uh from the stop sign we have to make a right onto the far left lane so from that far left lane we can then make a left onto the road that we are going to but all the versions of the fsd have struggled with this let's see if anything has been improved from this version so again just to clarify from this stop sign that is coming up we have to go to the far we gotta make a right lane right and then go towards the far left lane where that uh, Camry is right but all the version of FSD try to go in the middle lane which is suppose which is for the people who are going straight there so let's see if anything has improved in this version so far we are just stopping at the stop sign and gradually moving forward let's see if anything has improved okay so hmm I don't think this version also corrected this issue. We still made the left from the middle lane when we should have got in the far left lane and should have made the left from there. Anyways, so I have sent feedback to Tesla many times on this, but this is one of the minor things that still hasn't improved, but it's all good. So we'll see how the rest of our drive is gonna go. I'm going to the nearby Sprout in this area so um, also gonna see if the car is gonna park by itself you know uh, in my previous video you noticed when we were on the version 
uh, 2.6 it took us to the destination we were going to and then it found a parking spot and parked the car by itself and then basically uh, FSD said that it's done uh, so we'll see what happens today it's very funny even in my last video we had a black Tesla Model 3 in front of us for some time so <laughs> we have the same kind of thing anyways Also, if you're still watching this video guys and haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and support my channel. This is fairly small channel and I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. So your help is really gonna go a long way. This is a very busy kind of interstate highway. A lot of traffic around this time, especially um, driving around like you know it's almost around five o'clock people are coming back from work and whatnot so the roads are fairly busy but that's a good test for FSD at the same time on how it's gonna handle the traffic too right so far I haven't touched the yoke it's still driving on its own without any intervention Also guys, although this is driving on its own perfectly now, uh, I always say that in my video, you should make sure that you're paying attention all the time and get ready to take over any time if you think the FSD is not gonna be able to do the move. I haven't had to intervene lately at all and I have documented most of my drives with this, but uh, you know, you never know. So just uh, pay attention and be ready, just in case. Okay, so our car is gonna try to change lanes now. Okay, so it's doing so without any issues, as you can see. So we're gonna go up ahead and I think uh, we are gonna try to go and take the exit from the right to go on to the other side where we are going right so let's see speed limit is 50 here and we are going around 40 ish 35 ish now because uh, there's a car in front of us so we're gonna make a right from here or go this way and then from there we're gonna make a left it's showing up here too also guys there's still no pothole detection so that is something still bothers me every day <laughs> when I'm uh, using the FSD because I am in actually New Jersey and the roads are really bad here I don't know what they do with our money but definitely they are not fixing the roads okay so flawlessly it made turns and now it's gonna go into this plaza let's see again no intervention so far the car is driving by itself i just want to see if it's gonna park by itself today as well so it is something that they are testing it's definitely gonna come in the next versions i think but uh it works sometimes sometimes it don't so Let's just see what happens today. Okay, this car is trying to go, so let's see, okay. It's detecting all the pedestrians too, so happening in real time. Okay, so this is the store I'm going to. Let's see where the car is gonna stop or FSD is gonna park. So we passed the store already. Okay. Okay, so it for some reason it didn't want to go on that side, but it's coming here. So let's see. Okay. Okay. So again, uh, yeah, it's parking by itself today again. 
Okay, the roar is barking. Look at this, guys. Wow. It is trying to reverse park. May have to correct it because we are not completely parked in the right spot. Okay. 